Hello literature lovers, today I want to discuss Edward Henry Gordon Craig, sometimes called Gordon Craig. He was an English modernist theater practitioner. He worked as an actor, director, designer, as well as developing an influential body of theatrical writings. Craig was the son of the actress Dame Ellen Terry. And the Gordon Craig Theatre where Lynn Stevens, the birthplace of him is named in his honour. He was well known for his ideas of using neutral, mobile, non-representational screens as a staging device in probably most famous scenographic concept. In fact, in 1910, Greg filed a patent which described in considerable technical detail a system of hinged and fixed flats that could be quickly arranged to cater for both internal and external scenes. He is presented a set to WB Yates for use at the Abbey Theatre in Ireland who shared his symbolic aesthetics. His second innovation was in stage lighting. Doing away with traditional footlights, Craig lit the stage from above, placing lights in the ceiling of the theatre, now which is really very common. Now Craig lit the stage from above and the color and light also became central to stage conceptualization. And the third remarkable aspect of Craig's experiments in theoretical form were his attempts to integrate design elements with his work with actors. His mise en scene sought to articulate the relationships in the space between movement sound, line, and color. Craig promoted a theater focused on the craft of the director, a theater where action, works, color, rhythm combine in dramatic, dynamic form. All his life, Craig sought to capture the pure emotion and asserted development in the place on which he worked. Even during the years when he was not producing plays, Greg continued to make models to conceive stage designs and to work on directorial plans that were never to reach performance. He believed that a director should approach a play with no preconceptions and he embraced this in his fading up from the minimum or blank canvas approach. As an engraver and a classical artist, Craig found inspiration in puppets and masks. In fact, in 1910, an article, a note on masks, Craig expounds the virtue of using mass as a mechanism for capturing the audience attention. An imagination in the soul. There is only one actor, one man who has the soul of the dramatic poet and who has ever served as the true and loyal interpreter of the poet he proclaimed and this is the marionette. On the art of the theatre, a 1911 book is written as the dialogue between the playgoer and a stage director who examines the problems of the nature of stage directing. Craig argued that it was not dramatists, but rather performers who made the first works of drama using action, words, line, color and rhythm. Such great were the remarkable 
points of his. His ideas really changed the theatre world from top to bottom and revolutionized the theatre all criteria. That's all for today. I hope you must have got a better perception. Thanks for listening.